It is 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Drove all night. This epic, oh, my lane's ending. This epic journey, 14 hour journey to pick up Crag. Our rustic trailer, Kodiak Stealth, is uh, named Craig by my youngest son. And I call it Crag. I haven't seen it yet, but I've already, it's already named. And I have a specific meet time to pick it up, and that is 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So I'm cutting pretty close, but uh, eh, not pretty close. The GPS tells me to be there at 9.41. So that's early. Maybe I'll see if uh, Pilot Mountain has a coffee shop somewhere. It's a beautiful drive right when I hit, well, it was dark the majority of the drive, but right the sun came up, I was heading right into Charleston, uh, West Virginia, and uh, the sun was coming up over the mountains. Very pretty drive. No time to stop and take pictures of. Three toll booths, so like back to back to back to back. I think each one was four bucks. I have no cash. And the lady's like, Wait a minute, I can give you a bill. I'm like, I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. And sold. So here's my bill. And then the next toll booth, cash, cash only. I'm like, uh, I'll take a bill. She's like, okay, give me that piece of paper. And I gave it to her, and she marked on it. And the next person marked on it. So I gotta go online and pay that. I've arrived. I'm going to pick up the trailer, hook it up, figure out what I'm doing, get my brake controller working. I don't know if you can see it, officially pulling the rustic trail trailer. A little debacle, I had to go buy a 7 pin extension because with the uh, lock and roll hitch made things a little longer than they I think they than they wired it for. So seven pin extension on Amazon, four foot. I mean I didn't need I didn't need, need much. So four foot was more than enough. Twenty five bucks. I just got back from tractor supply and eight foot is all they had and it was ninety six dollars. So yeah, I was in a pinch and would have paid ninety six dollars for it. In which case I did. These are almonds and they're delicious. Heading to the Linville Gorge now. So hopefully I can find some dispersed camping there. We'll see what happens. Devil Doug, Devil Doug, Clunkity Cluck Cluck, don't give a buck to you because I don't have any money. I'm just a duck. <laughs> Dispersed camping. big mound dirt here so I'll pull, pull put the rock in front of that tire pull forward a little bit it'll level it out not too bad just first camping for the night ain't the prettiest in the world but it'll work so the uh, trailhead to walk down to the waterfall is way down there so I'll just drive there I'll get up early and drive there do that quick hike in the morning it took about a thousand tries to to back it up into the spot. It's like threading a needle, like seriously, it's no one to spot me, so very important. I got my PP pee -pee in the middle middle of the night shoes. Very important to have these. And one thing that's also very important, an extra car key. 
because if you drop keys like that. So I should have planned a little better. He's bounced around quite a bit, so hopefully no damage. Let's check this out. Oh, this ate some dirt, but hmm, that's fine. This is what we're doing right now. Turbot. Yeah. Maybe in the future. Oh yeah, that's that got shook up a little bit. Guess I better do this where I don't want to no stuff. Oh, and it's frozen. Holy shit. Science experiment. Oh look. A beer cano. Except if they're all frozen, that means I don't have one beer to drink tonight. And I've earned it because I haven't eaten. And I drove all night. This is gonna knock me out. I'll be asleep soon. Basically it's beans and dogs and a bun. <laughs> Everything is frozen. The first time using the Iceco. I want to call it Iceco, Iceco, but it's probably just Iceco. But Iceco is more fun, more more syllables. So I had it set to uh, yeah, 32. I really didn't think it would actually freeze everything, especially stuff inside a can. But some bitch works, but it's pretty nifty. So really, you just set up the kitchen kind of here, which is sloppily done. This is a mess. Everything over here to the uh, left of the Isco is for breakfast in the morning, which translates to coffee. So that's what all that is, pretty much. The sun's getting ready to set. Very quiet. Good morning, Mr. Breakfast. Got an espresso in me. One anyway. And I'm making myself eat some oatmeal. I didn't bring anything fancy for breakfast. Because I wanted to just be able to heat up hot water. GFO. Hot water equals coffee. Usually I don't eat breakfast day to day so <clears throat> but well, oatmeal my espresso which is empty I'll make another one it just it's kind of a pain it takes it takes some time to make the espresso so for like two drinks I don't even know it's probably probably two ounces and then I did uh, mocha press so I could have an actual cup of coffee uh, one thing I gotta do is uh, get a whisker thingy so I can froth, actually froth milk. Boiling the last, some more water just so I can have another espresso. Spoon. A little mess kit in them. Can't box it. I don't want to dirty anything else. This is super simple. I don't have to clean hardly anything. As soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna go hike to those waterfalls. On to the next adventure. So it was just a short, uh, not even said half a mile, didn't feel like it. Trail down to uh, where I just was. Now I'm going to take Irwin's trail up on a ridge that overlooks the bigger falls I believe. That's another half a mile. I just read that Linville Gorge is the deepest gorge in the eastern United States. How oh, where does the eastern begin? I don't know. Now you can hear it. Once you come over around a corner you hear that waterfall. Oh this is cozy. This is
Irwin's view of Linville Falls. Uh, it's actually uh, not, I don't have a zoom lens with me, I didn't bring it on this trip, so that's it. The view is way more impressive in real life, as is any view compared to any camera, no matter how good technology is and building cameras and lenses, etc.